How to do Joe Biden in a nutshell? Well, if Bill Clinton was all about, I feel your pain, then Joe Biden is all about, I'm feeling pain right now. Greg Shapiro, United States of Europe, giving world leaders the respect they deserve by making fun of them on a regular basis. Now, some of you may know me from this video about the Little Netherlands. It was so great. Totally the best. The Netherlands, second. It went so viral back when viral was a good thing. And that is a review of how to do a presidential impression. With Trump, it was all about... The best, bigly, the most best, I think. And then, going back, you had Obama, Barack Obama, who liked to pause so much that his name is Barack, like a frog. And don't forget, uh, George W. Bush said things like, it's getting hard these days for a man to put food on his family. We need to ask ourselves, is our children learning? And the French don't even have a word for entrepreneur. And before that was Bill Clinton. I feel your pain. That's not the only thing I'm feeling. But your pain. I feel your pain. Joe Biden picks up where Bill Clinton left off. Biden is like, I feel your pain. I'm feeling pain right now. I'm feeling so much pain like a big black hole in the middle of your chest. Make me feel like you can't go on. Half of America's like, hey, Joe, I'm not feeling that much pain. But Joe has. He's lost loved ones, and yet he's learned how to survive. Joe Biden is like America's grief counselor. And America, if you think you don't need that right now, then maybe you are stuck in the first stage of grief. For years, Democrats have been the party of facts and figures. Facts and figures win elections. That's how to win hearts and minds, except... Eh, with Biden, it's such a pleasant change to see him cruising to victory on a campaign of pure emotion, even if that emotion is pain. There's nothing wrong with feeling pain. My lower back, I think I slept on it wrong. And here's the deal. When you're out of alignment, there goes your constipation too. You can't poop. We need to purge ourselves of this virus. We're going to get ourselves regular. We're going to make America poop again. So here's how I clue into a Joe Biden voice. You start with that old man, tough guy voice. Like, Clint Eastwood, go ahead, make my day. But he's feeling pain, like, like Owen Wilson at the end of Marley and Me. I know what it feels like to lose your dog. And then you combine them. I know what it feels like, but I make you this promise. We're going to make it through this, and we're going to make it through together. I promise you. I promise you. Come on, man. Why does Biden keep over-empathizing with everyone? Who's coaching him behind the scenes? Brene Brown? And yet, maybe there's a reason that empathy is his go-to move. Because it works. Maybe there's a reason that Biden is like, better to have loved and lost than never loved at all. Because Biden's predecessor? Never love, never lost. I don't like losing, and I love, I love me. I love winning, I love winning. That's why emotion and empathy are Joe Biden's go-to move. Because if Biden would stand up there in front of reporters and say, my predecessor was a sociopath, the Republicans would attack him all day, every day. But that's the thing. Biden doesn't say it, he shows it by oozing human empathy. And the Republicans, they can't even attack him for it because they don't understand human empathy. Republicans are watching Joe Biden's approval ratings going up like Professor Quirrell at the end of Harry Potter. Ah, what is this magic? And yes, it's true. Sometimes Joe Biden, he can slip it. He can trip. He can make a mistake when he's speaking. But do people realize that uh, Joe Biden had a stutter as a child and he had to get over it? to become a successful politician. He doesn't talk about that a lot, but he could, because maybe that is why he won. America chose the boy who stuttered over the bully. Uh. Uh.